All week long, it's been kind of, you know, back to school, and we've got some great ideas for food, for crafts, and then there's also those memories. Yes, all the memories from all when. The memories. Yes, you we were back at school, high school, things like that. So um, we're asking folks today what their special moment was in school, whether it was elementary school or high school. It could have been you were voted, you know, most school, whatever. Pretty smile mm -hmm. when you got a, a letter. You landed the in, role in of sports. a lifetime you in a play. You landed the role of a lifetime. You uh, maybe, maybe yeah. did something special for one of the teachers. So Because is this one of yours? Well, that was, you know, we did actually go to the state finals that year oh. in, in football. Oh. We did not win the state final championship. <laughs> but... um, Still argue that there was some bad refereeing. I'm not going to go there, but uh, yeah, that was in there. And then, um, yeah, I was voted most school spirited. They always voted a guy and, and a gal, so um, that's not really a surprise. Is that a, the bill of a hat? <laughs> uh, yeah. So I, I made okay. sure I wore um, my cheerleading shirt. I have my cheerleading jacket wrapped around my waist, so it's kind of all the school colors. I have some spirit beads on, and that is a visor that I flipped upside down, and I'm holding the varsity uh, megaphone there because I wanted to, you know, look like, you know, the school colors just kind of threw up on me. It's called overkill. Yeah. <laughs> hey, she won. So what was your special moment? And let us know if you got pictures, that would be fantastic. Or is it a special moment with one of your kids? Because, I mean, we've all got those. Yeah, and, did you they know, do something last year that you want to yeah. share? Share that moment. And be sure to let us know what school they're at, too. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, Victoria Ascari, owner of Craft House SA, joins us to show us how to create your very own Reading Nook. This is so cool. What a tranquil picture. And, you know, kids always want that special. A lot of times it's uh, let's do homework at the, you know, kitchen table or something like that. But just to, you know, be in that nice little quiet corner to read, curl up with a good book. What a fantastic idea. And this thing is so simple. It is so easy. And let me tell you, a lot of my friends are teachers and they're talking the, uh, about flexible seating nowadays to help kids really like own their own learning and, and you know be a part of, you know, be comfortable while they learn and make it enjoyable rather than just something that they have to do. Right. And I really think that this reading nook idea really like helps encourage that. Mm -hmm. Well, and we mentioned that if you were to go and try and buy all of this, you know, from top to bottom, it could cost uh, like $75, $80. But yeah, between the seating and uh -huh. the canopy and the pillows, like, uh, you're just looking at $80 to $100 easily. Okay. And we're going to show folks now how to do it for less, less than, than 20, 20 For less than 20 of it. Starting at the top, yep. and we have got so, just so simple... So starting at the top, we're just going to show you the canopy. And so at the very top, what's actually holding it all together is an embroidery hoop. So you're looking at the inner part of an embroidery hoop, but the mm -hmm. outer part, which is up there, it's you'll see there. there's a little latch on there that you just unscrew. And it totally just opens up. I see it. I see it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Right there. And it just opens up. You just unscrew it. Opens up. Mm -hmm. And you and I slid on two sheer curtain panels onto Open that embroidery like that. hoop. And that's going to stay there, you know, as long as it's uh, hung up. And I just hung it with using some uh, string that I had at home. You can use fishing wire. You could use Anything. a tool, like right. make and, a bow. And this is light enough to where you could use, you know, something a little bit more than a cup hook, but one of those um, drywall anchor that yeah, goes up in the ceiling like that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's really light. It's really airy. You can put it anywhere in the house. And you find the shears at... Uh, so I found mine at Target. You can go okay. to Walmart. You can go anywhere. Anywhere you find okay. it. Okay. Yep. Yep. Pretty simple. Uh, if you're a teacher you can, and want a big one, you can use a hula hoop and, you know, add a couple more shears right. yeah, needle, something fit more like that. People. Yeah, exactly fit okay. more people okay. so the next part that I really love about this little nook is the little seat uh, that's at the bottom and uh, wait, believe it or not that's a pool float <laughs> so those are on sale right now because summer is ending, ending. Womp, womp, womp. but at least we have there on clearance and we can go and uh, get these cool pool noodles or, or pool floats and all I've done is wrapped it with some t-shirt material. So I had some t-shirt material lying around but if you wanted to cut up some old t-shirts and use that you're more than welcome to and I love using t-shirt material because it doesn't fray. Ah, and easy to cut yeah. And it's so easy, easy to, to cut. cut. And so what you're going to do Fiona is at the beginning you don't need it as much right. uh, if you wanted to kind of, of glue as you go. Remember not to glue directly onto the so, pool float. And we just need maybe a dot? It just needs a dot. Yeah. Just to help it stay in place. All right. Okay. Yeah, and you, since you're not gluing directly on the pool flow, because number one, you don't want it to burn. Right. And number two, you can, you know, take that off if you want to change out the colors, okay. if you want it to match. And then if it loses air, you can always just move it around and, and fill it back up again. Oh, yeah. Okay. So the next component that guns. we have. <laughs> so the next component that we have are those cute little pillows at the bottom. 
And so what I'm going to show you is how to make two different types of pillows. And you got, speaking of not fraying again. We're using fleece. Just That's right. Thing. Now, can you buy this by the yard or buy you, a fleece blanket? I buy it by the yard. Okay. Um, it's, it's, it was like five bucks a yard. And I used like maybe a half a yard to uh, to create two pillows for each half yard. Or if you had one of those little fleece blankets. Or if you had a little fleece blanket. Uh, we have so many at the house. Yeah. So we could just recycle them because we don't need, you know, 20 at the house. <laughs> two, different, two different ways to do it. This is yep, the... So we started out with a square of, square of fleece. I love fleece because it's also front and back, so there's no right side or wrong side. And then okay. I cut slits into the fleece. Mm -hmm. And I just tied three of, four, three of the four quarter, corners. And I'm okay. going to have you, Mike, kind of start tying, okay. uh, tying about halfway through just that last corner. simple square knot, left just over right, simple, right over yep, left. Yep, double knot. Okay. And what I'm going to do while you're doing that. And, you know, this is something also very easy that the kids could do, too. Just oh, tie yeah, a square totally. In there, have so. them own their own house, their own decor. You know, okay. they can help you however they'd like. All right. And so now that you've kind of gotten that down, what we're going to do is we're going to get this polyfill. And again, you, you buy, buy that. You can buy this at any craft store. You could, I think they even have it at Home Depot nowadays and, or even Walmart. Okay. So then we're just going to fill, fill, fill the sky. Okay. And then you would just continue to tie this and off. And you just continue it. to tie. Okay. Yeah, you make and that's a cute things, little. That's things nice and nice and fluffy on there. So the other method. The other method, I if you're in a time crunch or, you know, you're just not that crafty. Even simpler. Even simpler. We just have a square fabric. This is about a 12 by 12 inch square and I'm just gonna fabric. And just line down here. And just do a line all the way across. And since it's it's fleece, it really adheres together really well. Oh, look at you! I make sure it doesn't just, dry. Yeah. All right, I'll just yeah. do it like this, starting yeah. off for yep. time purposes. But yeah, and so so it really holds onto the fabric really well. And then mm -hmm. once you've gotten three of the sides um, all glued together, you okay. would simply turn it inside out. Mm -hmm. We can just show the seam. And that way, you get that nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you would think Seam that you sewed there. this. I actually showed this to my aunt last night, and she was like, did you just sew that right now? And I was like, sure I did. How simple. <laughs> and, and stuff that in. And then we just, yeah. So and once you do three sides, you would stuff it, and then just glue it shut and you're well. good to go. So we talked about if you bought that on Amazon, it's talking maybe 80 bucks. How much did you spend? I spent less than 20 bucks. I think the most that I spent was probably on the curtains. Um, but I had actually those curtains laying around the house because we just changed up our decor. So oh, there you I go. actually spent less than 20. I spent about 10. And a you guys offer idea. craft and cocktail classes for yeah. craft and cocktails? Yeah, we're doing a First Friday palette party at Rusted Grape in the, at Market Square. We'd love for everybody to come. We're going to do some fa some fun farmhouse signs. I oh, love it. That's yeah. right across okay. from us here. Yep. All right, great stuff from Victoria Scarry from Craft House SA. Yeah, for more information, you know what to do. Head to our website. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Well, as this new school year begins, sometimes it's a simple note that can keep parents and their little ones connected. You know, whether they put them in the lunchbox or in your backpack or something like that. I did put one in my sophomore's lunch yesterday. Oh, did you? Yes, and he noticed it. Our Jen Tobias Strusky found one father and daughter that have taken all of those childhood notes and turned them into a book. Oh, this will bring so you to, yeah, take a look. Oh. Yep. Like many of his parents, Wayne T. Frankie worked long hours. Even though he had lots of meetings and was really busy, I never felt um, isolated or left out. But whenever I didn't travel with him, you know, whenever I was in school, he definitely called all the time. Um, he still does. And, uh, and he wrote these notes. And I mean, not just notes about Pootsie, but he would just write notes. Who's Pootsie? That's the character in Mara Jane King's new book, The Adventures of Pootsie the Wonderbug. The big idea came from a small, fun thought. So The Adventures of Pootsie the Wonderbug is a book that um, came from these notes that my dad wrote for me when I was uh, 9 and 10 years old. Pootsie looked up to Tippy with tears in his eyes and said, Tippy, I'm really sorry I upset you. Our pet cat, Tippy, who is a real cat, and Pootsie played with me as a, a little girl too, and so he just wrote these notes. Some of them tied together day by day, but most of them were just individual notes about Pootsie's little adventures around our house. I, I never thought it would be a book until, I didn't even know she saved the notes until the book showed up. And this is verbatim my dad's notes, um, and I just, I did illustrations, I think, through um, Microsoft PowerPoint. So the new book looks a little different, complete with fun with illustrations and, and some hidden sentimental items, items in there, too. So, Pootsie was such a tiny little bug that it took him about 25 minutes to climb all the way up from the floor to Mari Jane's ear. When he got there, he whispered, have a very happy day and be sure to be careful which bug you step on. King hopes to pass this tradition on to her children. I mean, it's really neat that we get to pass on a, a 
a book to to my daughters, to my dad's granddaughters. Um, but it's fun to see a, a tradition start in such a simple way, and and now it's a tradition that we can share with hundreds and thousands of people, um, and just help them know and understand just their really simple things that you can do to make a difference, just like these notes did for us. And today, their connection still strong. I, I learn as much from Mari Jane now as she did for me. I'll just put it that way. It just kind of comes down to priorities, um, but he was still able to maintain a, a great job, but also made sure that, that family was the priority, and so um, he just made both work. Her advice to other families and aspiring writers. You can certainly take something really small and turn it into something big that you can then share with other people and inspire them to do as well. So find something that you're really good at, something that you really take pride in. Well, just be involved in your kids' lives. Uh, it's just as simple as that, no matter how busy we are. For SA Live, I'm Jen Tobias Dresky. Okay, if that's not the sweetest story. I love it. I love that. So much. All right, coming up, save hundreds of dollars on new tech and gadgets for back to school. Uh, you can snag a few sweet deals at AT&T. That's coming up. And how to turn cheap finds into personalized pieces for back to school. We're showing you how to turn that boring desk space into a creative domain. Stay with us. Friday. downtown San Antonio. This is SA Live. Hey, welcome back. Okay, so yes. shopping for the school year. Mm -hmm. Got that list, okay? Mm -hmm. It can get pretty pricey. Oh, yeah. Especially if your kids need all the cool techie gadgets. Especially if you have more than one kid to buy those gadgets for. You know, just the, the notebooks and everything like that's expensive in itself. But like you were talking about the gadgets, well, our David Elder stopped by AT&T and he has the scoop on some really sweet deals that could potentially save you hundreds of dollars. It's David Elder with SA Live. Well, it's back to school week here on SA Live. So we're going to be showing you a few gizmos and gadgets by the AT&T store, and they're going to get you ready for the new school year. Let's go check it out. And with our friends over here at AT&T, they're going to make sure that you have the right gear for the school year. And with me is Stephen Punt. He's the area retail sales manager. And Stephen, you have a great item over here that's good for people who break their phones or sure. if they're not really careful with their phones, right? Yep. This is the S8 Active. The Samsung Galaxy S8 Active has military-grade durability. A great infinity screen. With an immersive display that's water, dust, and shatter resistant. I, I would need something like that. I drop my phone so much. And I use my phone yep. for everything. You know, it's always with you. It's sure. a part of your life now. You need something that can be with you your whole yep. life. Through August 31st, buy any new Samsung Galaxy S8 on AT&T Next and add Direct TV to get $500 off a Samsung TV. If you get it on the Next plan, it's as low as 28 bucks a month. And for qualifying students and faculty, you can get $200 if you activate a new line. Wow. Qualifying higher education students and faculty can get $200 off when they transfer or add a new line to their plan. People who do business presentations, presentations all means for school too, we have a great fun for that as well, right? We do, we do. This is is the Motorola Z2 Force. This just came out. If you activate this device, you can get this $299 projector through Motorola and project up to 70 inches. Look at this, 70 inches. And look at that, it just goes right on. It's magnetic, right? It clicks right onto it, so you're not dropping anything, you're not losing the parts and pieces. Mm -hmm. Comes preloaded at DTV Now. Tell us a little bit more about that. DTV Now, 60 live channels on the lowest package. We have four packages you can choose from, but it's like Netflix, except better because it's all live. All Our live TV. Live TV in addition to 20,000 on-demand titles. And you were also talking about, I mean, you can get KSAT. Well, KSAT. As a part of that. So here in San Antonio, local. you get to yep. watch and stay up to date with all your weather and traffic before you go to school with DTV with the new projector mod here that comes with the Motorola phone all at the same time. Yep. That is fantastic. Now, you have these two cool phones over here, but if people want to really spice it up and add something else to their phones, you have accessories too. Exactly. Let's go check them out. You got some other great items over here for us, right? We do, we do, for sure. This is the wireless charging. For 100 bucks, uh -huh. you get this case. That's a cool case. I like the leather. Wireless charging here. You can go hands-free in your car. And look at that. And it's wireless charging. But it also reinforces the don't text while you drive. Don't text while you drive. And you're hands-free. Correct. When you're stationary, yep. you want to rock out. You got some cool speakers over here, too. Yep, we do. This is the UE series, and this is actually from one of the engineers for Van Halen back in the day. Nice. Came up with this.
this and it's waterproof. You can connect up to 90 of them together. You want to make sure your social media game's on point. You got to take good selfies, right? So you got a really cool case that helps you out. Yep, with that as we well. have this Rebecca Minkoff selfie glow selfie case. Uh -huh. I'm not a selfie guy, but there you go. Look at that. That's the coolest thing in the world. My gosh, Steven, you guys have so many cool things out here. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. And, and to get more information about AT&T, you go to AT&T.com. On their website, they have all these different specials and packages going on. You can go check it out there, including the student and faculty discounts, yep. right? Student and faculty qualifying students get $200 for activating a new line. Fantastic. You also have a lot of other cool features as well. If you order something online, buy it online, pick it up in store. That's awesome. Well, yep. Steven, Thank you so much. I'm going to get back you, to my Jim. 3D world over here. There's a lot of cool dragons and things happening on this. So I'm going to go back to that. Oh, my gosh. And again, for more information on AT&T, visit at and Dot com. Seriously, Fiona, an, an illuminated case for selfies? Yeah, that's awesome. You can use it out at night or, you know, if you're in somewhere that doesn't have Do a lot of light. you have to say night? Night. No. <laughs> 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 Turn that old, boring study space into a creative desk domain. This is a great way to give your kids a really cool spot to do their homework. We're going to show, 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 show you with Design Improvised. Check, Plus, check, check in grab and, and go handle, breakfast check, items check, that are healthy and, and simple to whip up in literally a matter of minutes. We're going to show you three sweet recipes a little bit later on in the show. Stay with us. Friday. Is it nap time yet? School is so hard. <laughs> well, with the school year basically upon us, Haley G. and Balbo from Design Improvise joins me, and we've got some great ideas to kind of give your kids a desk environment right there at home. Yeah, homework starts early. I want to find a way to make it fun, get them in the routine so that when they come home from school, they're ready to start on their homework and get that out of the way. And one way to do that is just have all their supplies ready to go, have a dedicated workspace for them. And I found that this little um, homework kind of cart that I put together, a little homework station, has been really handy for them. Yeah, Where so you find this plastic old school retro desk at one of my favorite places to find great finds, a Goodwill. They had, I think a school must have donated a bunch of them last year, and I picked one up for maybe like $5, and just gave it a little bit of a, a, an upgrade. I, I painted it, gave it a fresh coat of paint on the legs, and then I added some stripes with some vinyl just to dress it up a bit. And it just gives them something that's their size. It obviously reminds them of school. It's a real school desk. There's even storage uh, in it. Alongside it, I put this little cart. I got the cart at at home stores. You can find them at a lot of home decor stores, something similar like this. And I just filled it with little baskets that kind of help corral the different supplies they might need for their different homework and activities. So really customize it to what works for you, but just having it all in one place where they're not running around the house trying to find a pair of scissors, um, you have it right there ready to go so they can get their work done. My lunch isn't packed. Well, the reason it's not packed, Fiona, is because you're going to do it yourself. You're a big girl now. Really? That's why we've got this station right here. And I love that it's at the level where kids can get to it. Yes, yeah, school lunches, snacks, water bottles, those can take up a lot of time during the school year because they need them every single day if they're packing their lunch and they always need a snack regardless. Have the kids help out, and the way to do that is make it accessible for them. I cleaned out a cabinet in my um, kitchen. Prior to that, I had everything kind of scattered around. The water bottles were up high, they couldn't reach them, and I was frustrated they weren't helping me, but then I realized a big part of it was it wasn't where they were able to get to them easily. So I came up with this idea to just dedicate one cabinet to everything they need for school. And I organized it using some uh, baskets. Mm -hmm. And what worked for us was some of the containers that they put in their lunch boxes in one, uh, prepackaged snacks in another for their snack time or for their lunches, water bottles, um, 
other snacks that they can divvy up the day of when they're making their lunch. Whatever kind of non-perishables that you want to put in there is a good start, and then you can kind of help them with things from the refrigerator to round out the rest of their lunch. I love it. Great stuff from Haley Giambalvo. For more information on all these ideas, you can head to her website, designimprovised.com, where she's got these ideas on her blog, or just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, coming up, heading back to school might call for a hectic morning for the entire family. That's an understatement. We'll share three simple and healthy grab-and-go breakfast ideas you can make overnight. And earlier, we asked you, what was your favorite kind of moment from school? Brianna says, I was student council president, FFA president, campus leadership, senior rep, and on the announcement team all at once, senior year. She didn't sleep. Phew, yeah, no kidding. It was the time of my life. Always will be a Highland owl. Keep them coming. with Go Public to highlight public school districts around town. And of course, this year we start with SAISD, Cast Tech High School, Steele Montessori School, and Mark Twain Dual Language Academy are all in the running. You can vote right now by going to salive.com and click the Cool School banner. Then you can pick the school you want to win this month's Cool School. You only have one week to cast votes, so make sure and head over to SALive dot com of competition i uh, well with school in full swing or about to be in full swing man mornings can be hectic for the entire family marcella freeman founder of burn it in 30 is here with some simple and healthy and quick fairly quick ideas to get those meals ready and get everybody out the door yes and all these recipes you actually can get them ready at night okay so you just need to take about five to 15 minutes depending on which one you wake up in the morning and it's ready to go. And, and it's all basically grab and go. Grab so you don't go. have to, and in case everybody is working or different times when kids have to go to school, different schools, something Especially like that. The first week of school, everybody's <laughs> rushing out. <laughs> Before you get into that yeah, routine and they finally kind of settle into get, it. Getting into the groove. So okay. of course, uh, at the top of the show, we did the, the overnight oatmeal, yes. which is really tasty yeah, stuff. Yeah, all you have to do is add the milk and let it sit overnight and it's ready to go. And that had blueberries, coconut, protein powder, your almonds, and you can choose different toppings if you like. Right, mm -hmm. right. And the longer it sits during the week, I love that, that on day three, day four, sitting in the fridge soaking mm. in the almond milk, it was really good. All right. So nice bite-sized things. I see muffins there and also the egg-shaped muffins, and this egg is all muffins. good and healthy and fills, yes. fills up the little ones, their tummies. For a balanced meal. So for the egg muffins, you'll have to spray your pan for mm -hmm. sure. And this is um, coconut oil? You'll make, yeah, that's coconut oil right there. Okay. And then you will have all your ingredients. These are the veggies that I have for this recipe, but you can always add different ingredients like jalapeno or cilantro if you like to change it up. And you just do about a tablespoon of each on each little muffin. And you also put a little bit of potato in there too. Yes, so that will be a carb source. So okay. you can have a balanced meal. You have your egg whites, which will be your protein, then your carb, which will be the potato, if you want to have the potatoes separate and just have a side mm -hmm. of potatoes or have it with some oats. And I, I assume you could either do them all fresh vegetables or you could just, you could saute them up beforehand just for a little you different could. texture. Absolutely. And obviously the potatoes you'd have to cook ahead of time. And the thing with this is so easy to change it up. You know, just changing one of the ingredients and it will taste completely different. Mm -hmm. And especially for the kids, because they always want something different. They want to make sure, you know, you keep it, you but keep it it's fun. A, it, like if you were to change it up, you still want it to stay that same balance. Yes. Yes. Right. Could you throw maybe a little bit of, if you want to, I know it's kind of off the really healthy, but bacon and cheese in there. You could. Okay. Yeah, you could <laughs> a little bit of <laughs> yeah, turkey bacon. Okay, or, turkey, turkey bacon. Yeah. Don't laugh at me, Fiona. <laughs> and the turkey bacon will add all this thing I was talking about. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. And then you just add the egg whites after you add all your vegetables and you'll just step it off. Okay. And, and about how long do you cook those? Uh, 25 minutes. Okay. Yes. And this will keep in the in the fridge for a week, basically? Or I will go up to three days. Okay, three um, days. This will be these. if you're cooking for the whole family. Mm -hmm. If you're just cooking for yourself, then I will just cook two or three. Okay. Or that's my preference because I don't like reheated eggs like on the fourth right. or fifth day. Yeah, so okay. that will just depend on how many people you're cooking And those curtains for. of egg whites are so handy as well, too. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, yes. I see muffins on there, and I know my kids love muffins, but... 
Usually it's not the healthiest thing in the world, no. is it? So what goes into these? We've got a couple so eggs got in here two already. Eggs. Okay. You're gonna add um, half a cup of Greek yogurt in there. Is this a half a cup? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it is today. <laughs> <laughs> and you have one tablespoon of um, coconut oil in there as well. Okay. Now, coconut oil, a good oil for you. Whoops. Yes. Really good. Better option for on there. Sure, yes. And then you've also been putting uh, protein powder in these things. So yes. that's something that will, again, fill up a... And Kids again, it's, I'm lunchtime. talking more of a balanced meal, and that's when you have mm -hmm. to have your fats, your carbs, and your protein, and mm -hmm. that's why we're doing the protein powder in it's it. Protein powder? That will be the oat flour. So first you okay. have to mix all the wet ingredients all and right. your strawberries that are over oh, there. Oh, put those in there too in the all strawberries? Yes, all of it. Okay. You said keep it the nice and moist. Cup. Okay. Yes. Nice. There you go. And then right after that, you add all of the dry ingredients. Would so you have your oat flour? All of this? All yes. Of that? And all, all of that. this? Oh. And that will be your trivia. Okay. Ah, so the sugar the, substitute. So, yes, that is a substitute. And a little bit of powder. the protein powder in there. A little bit. And that's actually a strawberry cheesecake flavor, so it's oh, really? a little oh, bit it more. Oh, it smells <laughs> <laughs> And so then what you end up with are these good muffins. And mm -hmm. if you were to take one of those, the egg muffins, and then a muffin like this, I mean, you've got a complete okay. breakfast, maybe even Absolutely. a couple of them for the kids, and the protein powder, mm -hmm. again, will fill them up just enough, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. and look, you can see and the strawberries good. in there if you break it open, oh, or mm -hmm. if you just bite into it, whichever you want to do. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be polite and, and break it open. So, and you've got these recipes on your website. Yes, I created a website so they mm -hmm. can go and download the recipes at marcellafitness.com slash life. And you don't have to, they'll... They'll just go there, cool. enter their name, email, and they'll get those recipes sent to their email. Plus, I, I will be doing a giveaway for everybody that gets entered there as well. Okay, awesome. this is healthy, and you can fool your kids because it doesn't taste healthy. It tastes regular. I'll put yes. it there. Yeah, yes. and they don't have all the added sugars. You know, mm -hmm. helps it stay sweet. Mm -hmm. All right, Great Marcella ideas. Fitness slash SA Live um, was the website earlier. Just head to ours and click on the As Seen tab for more information. All right. Back to school crafts using recycled materials. We're showing you a few fun no sew. That's right, no sew crafts right after the break. to school fun and today we are showing you how you can create some items with recycled materials you may have lying around your house and Jennifer Lickale from Abby's Attic Sewing and Crafting Studio is here to show us a few demonstrations how's right. it going very well thank you thank Th you for having me yeah of course and you're gonna be showing us something fun with these jeans over here right yes I'm sure everybody's outgrown their jeans for the school year so you can actually take an old pair of jeans mm -hmm. and make a new brown paper bag lunch look bag. at this thing this is the coolest look at it. it's, a, it's a little bag it is and it's how crafty super, is that? super sturdy and then you can roll it and now you got it it's all like velcro and everything so how do we do it what's the first thing we do so the first thing you're going to do is take an old pair of jeans doesn't okay. matter what size you use okay you're going to cut off one of the pant legs mm -hmm. and this is going to determine the size of the bag so you, you can make it as short or as long as you'd like so we have the jeans over here and we're going to start sewing it right yes we're going to go ahead and start okay. sewing a straight stitch right across all right this is going to create the bottom of your bag all right Right, and you got to remove the pins, you right? You don't want to get the pins in That's there. right. You don't want any broken needles shooting at your face. <laughs> sounds almost like shrapnel, sewing <laughs> shrapnel. Hey, man, All it's right. a contact sport up in here. It is, I bet. There we go. And then you lift okay. that up. There you go. Cut her loose. Okay, now here's the tricky part. Okay. To make the boxy bottom, to make it look like a, a brown paper bag, mm -hmm. you're going to take the corners here and cut them off, like at a little square corner cut off. Yeah, you got like a little L shape there. Yeah, yeah. Like a little L shape. Then you're going to open that L shape and... Fold that opening together. It's a little complicated. There you go. And then you got to sew that, right? And you got to sew that. Okay, yes. now we got to sew that part. Here yes. we go. So we'll just go ahead and put that under for you. I'm going to gas it up for hit you. Hit the gas. Oh, here we go. Hit the gas. Yeah. Woohoo! Done. There you go. My okay. mom's going to be proud of me. <laughs> she should be. <laughs> this is really fun and easy. And like, like I said at the beginning, it's really very sturdy. Mm -hmm. And we'll do just one box bottom right now. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn it right side out and check it out. And there you go. That's how you Look make it. Look what David did. He this made is... a thing. Yeah. Awesome. I made something. <laughs> I crafted it. And then you can come back. You decorate it. And I love that you added this little part there, too. It has a little little felt bottom there, and you got some Velcro, and that allows it to stay sealed. There you go. Well, great craft. And you yeah. also have something else for us today, right? I do. So these are very familiar to most moms. These are Capri Sun pouches, um, just the juice pouches. They are 
pretty indestructible, but the key is cutting them open at the bottom, cleaning them out really well, rinsing them, letting them dry in the, the hot summer sun of Texas. It's not hard to do. <laughs> it won't take very long. Um, and then we're going to sew them together to make a variety of things. Today we're going to show you the um, zipper clutch. Zipper so clutch. This is actually the perfect size for pencils and pens for school. So, and it's waterproof pretty much. Well, there you go. So there yeah. you go. So, David, you're going to go ahead and sew these two together. Okay. And, and you already have them pinned, so they're already pinned together here. Yes. I'm going to come over on this guy. You can actually... We're going to use yeah, on this one? Okay, we'll just use yeah. the same one then. Here we go. And we're going to just... And we're going to actually have to turn it this way, sorry. Turn it this way. Yeah, because the pins will get in your way. And then you're ready to rock and roll. All right. Here we go. It's a little funny because it's foil and plastic, yeah. so it needs a little help. Take yeah. a little, little bit of a push, right? Yeah, just... You can make it your... Yeah, you know, you're the boss. There we go. <laughs> I think I did it. Woo, you did it. Awesome. Okay, cool. Okay, so raise the foot. Yep. I think I did it. Hey, there you we go. You got it. You got it. Cut All it right, loose. Pull it out. And then you had a little okay. loose cutter thing over here. Yes. Yeah, so, I don't know where it was, but it's okay. Yeah, here, it's, on okay. The side. it's on the side. <laughs> it's on the back. Here. That's okay. So he's got this one. Sewing machines. I just I need to get more familiar with them. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. So, so then once it's sewn up, it's going to look like this. You'll have two of them because there's you know two sides to the back. Right. So we have two sides. So now mm -hmm. you're going to finish it off with a little zipper on yes. the top. Yes. So I'm going to take a zipper. And people think that zippers are really hard, but they're really not. Um, all you have to do is line the zipper up with the top of your bag. Mm -hmm. You can, you're, normally you use a zipper foot, but with this um, easy style, you don't have to use a zipper foot at all. You just oh, zigzag stitch right over it. Are oh, you going fancy with it with the zigzag stitch? I am. Stitch. Okay, we do it fancy up here. <laughs> and there you go. So you'll do that to both sides. Okay. Why are you still moving? That's weird. So you do that to both sides. Mm -hmm. You put them together. And then your finished product ends up becoming this. Yes. So you actually, you, oh, it doesn't take too long. It does not take too long. And, and it takes you, basic sewing skills to do this. Favor, thank you so much. Thank and you. to get more information on Abby's Attic, just head to our website, essaylive.com, and click on the link that we've provided. You can find out how you can make these cool little things. Okay, those are some really neat ideas. And I never knew that Dave could use a sewing machine. Coming up tomorrow on SA Live, we're giving you a sneak peek of our treat. Why are you laughing at me, Fiona? A sneak peek of our Treat Your Teacher Makeover. The winner, her story, and the big reveal next Wednesday in our Back to School special. Stay with us. This A&M University San Antonio is one of the fastest growing universities in the state. More than 6,600 students are enrolled to start this fall and study in more than 30 undergraduate and graduate programs. With me today is David Perriman, Director of Marketing and Communications. David, this campus is booming. Let's talk a little bit about its recent growth. Well, it really is, Fiona. I appreciate you all coming out to take a look. Since uh, Texas A&M San Antonio was founded as a standalone university in 2009, we've uh, achieved more than 180% growth in student enrollment. Now this year, as you mentioned, we'll have about 6,600 students on campus in graduate and graduate programs, and that represents a 21% growth just over last fall. Now, in addition to that kind of growth, the university is also undergoing really a transformation. We started out as an upper division university serving primarily commuter students, but now we're a fully comprehensive four-year university. So to keep pace with the student growth and to support the transformation, our campus is undergoing quite a few changes. We've got more than half a dozen construction projects going on right now. Esperanza Hall is our first residential hall. That's going to be open to students in the next couple of weeks as they come for the fall semester. It's not really your traditional dormitory like you find on most college or university campuses. Mine look like a jail cell. <laughs> yeah, well, so the, the living accommodations in the rooms will be, um, of course, top notch. But in addition to that, it really is designed as more of a learning and living sort of community. We'll have about 380 students in there. And what that means is that there's a fitness center where students can go before or after class and work out, burn off some stress. There's a recreational center with an arcade, billiards, pool tables. That's where students can go and kick back and relax and start to form those lasting relationships. In addition to that, we've got private study pods where students who need to buckle down and focus on their studies can go and have quiet and solitude. Now, another gem that's going up right now, and it'll open in the fall of 2018, is our Science and Technology Building. It's a $60 million facility, uh, about 160,000 square feet. 
It will be home to our kinesiology program, our natural sciences, and our cybersecurity program. It also will house our expanding Center for Experiential Learning and Community Engagement. How does the university support Military City USA? Well, being uh, located here in Military City USA, of course, we're particularly mindful of the many sacrifices that our servicemen and women make every day to protect our freedoms and to defend our way of life. We consider ourselves a military embracing institution. That means we're committed to meeting the educational needs of all of our military connected students. Now those are veterans, those are active duty servicemen and women, military spouses and dependents. Now we're standing in what we call the home of the brave, Patriots Casa. It's a one of a kind facility and it really is the home base for the support that we provide to the military.